I'm Sal. Thanks for checking out the video. I got some Tundra content for you guys today. Um, <laughs> this is uh, going to be my tow rig over the next couple of weeks. So it's time to show the old, old girl some love and uh, get it running tip top shape, make sure everything looks good. Um, this weekend coming, today's Wednesday, Friday, I'm heading up to North Carolina with my car from down here in Florida. And then in two weeks, I'm going to be moving the rest of my crap. Uh, I'm going to get a U-Haul trailer and tow that up to Virginia where I'm moving. So, uh, yeah, like I said, want to do an oil change today, do a quick nut and bolt check, make sure, um, you know, wheels, everything get underneath, make sure everything looks good. And then out back, just checking the four pin connector, make sure we're, uh, we're all good to go there. We get, we're getting signal to, you know, the turn signals and stuff like that. So let's start with the oil change and then bang all this out. Let's get started. Okay, so I know the oil looks really black, but it's actually only been around 5,500 miles in the truck, and I was using a full synthetic oil, so it shouldn't be an issue. The reason I think it's so dark is because I put some sea foam into the crankcase a few days ago and drove the truck about 100 miles. The sea foam is supposed to help remove any crud and build up in the engine, so I think that's what we're seeing come out right now. Once I got the oil drained, I plugged that back up and headed over to the oil filter. I swear, it's kind of funny. I always forget to put gloves on until the second that I get oil all over my hands. And then I'm like, oh, that's what I forgot. Maybe, maybe I should have some gloves on. <laughs> OEM oil filter. I like to fill a little bit of it with some oil. And then make sure the, the O-ring is nice and lubricated. Next we'll fill it up with around 6 quarts of oil. It pays to have nice friends. My buddy used to have a Tundra, sold it recently, and had 7 quarts of uh, Toyota 5W30 left over. And uh, he's like, you want it? And I was like, heck yeah, <laughs> free oil change. So um, yeah, we'll be throwing this in. It takes 6.6 .6 quarts, but I'm probably going to do 6 and then check the dipstick, um, see how we're doing. I'm going to get a, <laughs> a funnel. While I'm throwing the skid plate back on, I'll put a shameless plug here to have you go check out one of the first videos I made where I repaired almost all the skid plate mounting hole threads using a helicoil. I'd never used one before, but it was super easy and really worked like a charm. <laughs> Plus, now the skid plate isn't being held up by just hopes and dreams. Okay, so next up I want to test this out, make sure this is all good to go. So I'm just going to set it to 20 volts DC. And then this should be the negative down here. And then I should get, hopefully you can see this here. So that's the running lights. This should be the right or left turn signal and you can see it flashes with the blinkers. I got the hazards on right now. 
And then this is the other turn signal. And it should be the same thing. So this is weird. So I just had the hazards on. I got the middle pin to read, but the left one should be the other blinker and it wasn't reading. So then I tried just the left one and just the right one. And I noticed that uh, when I had the right blinker on, I could hear this little switch module up in here for the for the trailer connection clicking. You can probably, hopefully you can hear it right now. And when I had the left signal on, it wasn't doing that clicking. So I just put the hazard back on, took the hazards off, and now it is working. It, this is, it's clicking for the one that wasn't working before. So this is the left pin and it's going back and forth. So, I don't know. I love these intermittent electrical problems, right? <laughs> Just doing a quick nut and bolt check here. Um, I also checked out some of the suspension components while I was underneath for the oil change. Another thing that I've been putting off since I got my new wheels back in November is what to do with my stock wheel and tire setup. I had no plans to put it back on the truck and unfortunately the tires are seven years old and kind of dry rotted. So. I just stuffed them in the attic, but now that I'm moving, <laughs> I kind of need to do something with them. I honestly just don't want to have to think about them with the move and everything else happening, so I had a plan. I'll, I'll explain it in a minute. Okay, cool. So did the oil change, went through, um, checked torque on all the you know lug nuts and stuff. Something you don't want to, I don't want to happen. <laughs> Something simple to check that could be catastrophic, you know. Um, you saw me troubleshoot a little bit of the four pin connector. I still don't really know what's up with it, but um, I think it should be figured out for the most part. Um, other than that, I also picked up this tire plug kit. I think it's just nice to have, again, God forbid I get a flat, whether on my truck or on the trailer, um, I can try to use this. I've had really good luck with this in the past, so um, this will make me feel a little bit better <laughs> having it here. Um, I also have one of those, uh, it's like a cigarette lighter, um, tire inflators so it's just like a 12 volt I guess outlet tire inflator um, so I'm gonna get that and then I also bought like a 12 foot extension cord for that 12 volt outlet so if I need to fill a trailer tire or something like that on the side of the road I should be prepared for that um, also you saw me taking the old wheels from the truck down from the attic something I've been kind of putting off dealing with and uh, so I brought it to this uh, a shop to have them dismount the wheels and then, uh, or the tires, I guess. And then I was just gonna scrap the tires, try to sell the wheels or bring them to a scrap yard or something. And uh, the guy was like, no, don't do that. Like these are in good enough shape that someone will buy them. And uh, I was like, you know what, you're right. I'm just being lazy. So as I was leaving, <laughs> some dude was like, hey, wait, what do you want for those? I was like, I don't know, 50 bucks. And uh, he's like, I'll take them right now. So <laughs> then would be 50 bucks. And now I don't have to worry about those tires or wheels, so. Um, you know, things just work out, right? Yeah, I'm going to pick up the trailer tomorrow, and I'll keep you guys updated on the whole towing experience. Um, I'm going to do kind of a vlog style, I guess, sort of deal. Um, just documenting how the truck tows. There's not a ton of videos on YouTube about um, how these trucks tow. And this will be around 5,000 pounds with the car and the trailer. So, yeah, I think it's going to do well. I'm excited to do it, and I ho hope you guys are excited to see the videos. So. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day.